Hello everyone and welcome to Live 1000 Years. Today we're going to read from Chapter 2, Health. The article is entitled, Live 1000 Years. Time may indeed be on our side, if only we can manage to survive another 25 years. According to Aubrey de Grey, people will soon live 1,000 years. Just like the Holy Bible claims Adam and his descendants nearly lived during the ancient times. Best of all, de Grey claims our lives will biologically oscillate between 20 and 25 years old, indefinitely. De Grey was born in London, England. He attended Cambridge University where he received his bachelor's degree in computer science and his PhD in biology. His professional career is in biomedical gerontology. His wife is a biologist. He is an adjunct professor at the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology and the chief scientist of a nonprofit foundation dedicated to life longevity research. It's called Strategies for Engineered Negligible. He is also the editor-in-chief of an academic journal called Rejuvenation Research, as well as the author of The Mitochondrial Free Radical Theory of Aging, and co-author of Ending Aging. He runs the Methuselah Mouse Prize for breakthroughs in extending the life of mice. The prize purse is presently over $1 million. So how can people live 1,000 years? Here are de Grey's claims. Human aging is caused by the lifelong accumulation of various types of molecular and cell damage through our bodies. For example, the number one cause of death today in America is heart attacks and strokes, which result from heart disease. Heart disease is often caused by the accumulation of so-called molecular garbage or junk proteins, which are byproducts of people's metabolic process that their bodies cannot break down, digest, or secrete. Based upon his knowledge, Degree plans to modify people's human genomes to include genetic materials of microorganisms found in the soil. This genetic modification will enable people to break down the molecular garbage or junk proteins in their body cells that amass over time and normally cannot break down, digest, or secrete on their own. According to DeGray, people will choose to look and feel any age they desire. They will even be able to change their age appearance if they get bored or want a new physical look. People will see their family gene doctor for regular examinations and maintenance that include gene stem cell therapy and immune system stimulation. DeGray plans involve two basic steps. Step one involves mice. DeGray believes it will take about 10 years to achieve the amount of life extensions he wants in mice. Step two involves a conversion to human beings of the scientific technology learned from mice. He estimates a 50-50 chance of successfully converting the technology of mice to people in about 15 years. So that makes DeGray's human gene therapy available in approximately 25 years. A growing community of scientists support DeGray in his medical plan. These scientists believe the first person who will live 1,000 years is already alive today. Just wait until the Social Security Department of our federal government hears about that amazing claim. But some people might think 1,000 years is not quite long enough. For those people, there's a new company called Hume that plans to extend and enhance human life by freezing human brains for extended periods of time using cryonomics, which is a deep freezing technology, before implanting these brains into artificial bodies. The ultimate goal of the company is to preserve a human brain before a person dies and then successfully transplant the person's living brain into a bionic body that could potentially live forever. Humane is the brainchild of entrepreneur Josh Bocanegra. 
He says the goal of Hume is to achieve a point where no one has to die at all. Bouguenet's website explains the medical procedures as follows. We want to transplant your brain into an elegantly designed bionic body called Hume. It will use a brain-computer interface to communicate with the sensory organs and limbs of your new bionic body. Artificial intelligence will be integrated into synthetic organs so they can operate independently. Sensor technology will allow you to feel the essence of human experience. As your brain matures, genetic engineering will combat the aging process. Advances in nanotechnology will offer extensive tissue repair and regeneration, including the repair of individual brain cells. If and when Hume successfully transplants a human brain onto an artificial body, people will be able to live well beyond 1,000 years. As Bocanegra likes to tell us, the beginning is near. Bocanegra dismisses criticism of his mission. He cites promising breakthroughs happening every year in neuroscience and biotechnology. And he's 100% correct. One of these promising technologies and breakthroughs involves Italian surgeon Dr. Sergio Canavero and Chinese surgeon Dr. Ren Zioping, who plan to perform the world's first human head transplant in 2018. Dr. Zioping has already performed approximately 1,000 head transplants on mice and one head transplant on a monkey. A Russian man who suffers from a serious medical condition is set to become the first person to undergo this medical procedure. The surgery will take place at a hospital affiliated at the Harbin Medical University in China. If and when these two surgeons successfully perform a human brain transplant, we won't need Hume anymore. Instead, people will be able to live well beyond 1,000 years by simply transplanting their brain onto younger bodies whenever they choose. As macabre as this may sound, yet another promising breakthrough involves scientists from Ohio State University who have created 99% of the human brain in the laboratory. This miniature brain, which is not conscious, resembles that of a five-week-old fetus, which is the size of a pencil eraser. The brain was made from adult human skin cells and is the most complete human brain replica ever developed in the world. Rene Anand of Ohio State University presented the new brain on August 18, 2015 at the Military Health System Research Symbolism in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. If and when scientists create a full-size human brain and are able to successfully perform a human brain transplant, people will likely be able to live well beyond 1,000 years by simply transplanting their laboratory-created brain onto a younger body whenever they choose.